this story is specific to me in Massachusetts and also to a lot of my co-workers here in Mass because a lot of my co-workers here are Haitian. If you live in Mass, I don't even know, if, I don't, maybe this is strictly a Massachusetts thing, but say passe, my fellow Haitian nurses, nursing staff, healthcare providers, I've worked in a couple of nursing, um, in a couple of nursing, a couple of healthcare related jobs, and oh my, the Haitians, they're taking over. They're good people. They're my people. Oh, they're my people. Anyways, um, so the Trump administration's decision to end temporary protected status or TPS for Haitians living in the United States will have a devastating impact on the ability of skilled nursing facilities. Um, a reason why? I'll tell you why. Because there are approximately 4,300 4,300 Haitians who provide care and companionship to our residents. These workers include licensed nurses, certified CNAs, and laundry and food service staff. They are on the front lines daily and nightly, and their dedication is inspiring and cannot be understated. Um, so lastly, because of long-standing government underfunding uh, for nursing facility care, one in seven direct care positions are unfilled, and this is with the 4,300 Haitians that are currently working um, in the nursing um, skilled facilities. But making eliminating TPS for Haitians would undoubtedly make the situation worse and affect our ability to provide quality care. So, I mean, that's what it comes down to. That what it is what it comes down to. A lot of these Haitians that come over that are under the TPS, that are, you know, they're, they're here due to the TPS. Um, if that ends, if the Trump administration decides that's it's over and they got to go, we lose all of those health care workers. We lose some of the most dedicated, compassionate people we have in the state of Massachusetts. We lose my people, my people. Um, I, and like it's a fact. If you're in Massachusetts, I don't care what it says. Nursing skilled facilities, but I've been in, in nursing skilled facilities, rehab hospitals, regular hospitals. The Haitians, they're everywhere. They're, they're taking over. And the fact that they come and they gravitate to healthcare specific is amazing. Why do we want them to leave? In fact, I want them to stay. Bring your cousin over. Bring your aunt, your uncle, your your, your sisters, your brothers. That's what I'm saying. But no, according to Trump, we want them to go. And if they go. There goes quality health care. There goes the people that are doing the jobs that we need. I mean, this is health care. This is health care. This is... <sighs> what are you going to do? What are you going to do? All I can say is, power to the people. I want my Haitians to stay. Let's make sure that Trump does not make this uh, TPS end. And if so, let's make sure that we get some kind of immigration policy so they can um, be they can become citizens in a fast and easy way instead of having to leave and come back. And we're losing all of this care, compassionate care, from some of the most amazing people I've ever met.